Hey guys, hey. back out again with uh, Rick and Morty. This is season four, episode three. It's called One Crew Over, over the, the Cuckoo's Rick and Morty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Um, it's based off the movie the that movie and that Jack Nicholson was in. I've never was, seen I think it was called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, something like that. I don't yeah. know. Um, last episode I thought was very good. You know, uh, you know the whole toilet episode. That was pretty good. Uh, this episode again, don't know what it's about, um, but I'm excited to dive into it. So um, yeah, let's just uh, dive into it. Yeah. If you guys want to get the full reaction to our Patreon, link in the description. And here we go. That spider just bit my fingers. It's an alien clip. You can just say spider. <laughs> you couldn't do that an hour ago. I was eating an Where are they? They're like at a... Yeah, time movie suits. Oh. Uh, we're at Indiana Jones. Looks like it. <laughs> but they... That's cool! <laughs> I think I remember this episode. Uh, so they, like, after the person who... Yeah, who heisted him. Uh, yeah. Uh, heist Con. He has a convention now. Come on, what are we doing? Huh, you know, this is great source material for this heist movie that I'm writing. Don't get drawn into the culture, Morty. Stealing stuff is about the stuff, not the stealing. We're in. If you want professional badges, you need to put a crew together. Or we could sneak in, like professionals. Get away. <laughs> 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 you need the crew just to get and in. And then, a heist question from a fan. Uh, how about a rhetorical one from someone that had to be reminded that you exist? Hey, pal, that's not the question line. Lab coat, rip off Doctor what? Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchez, everyone. Average critic of the heisting arts. Ooh. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Your booze mean Stole it. Oh, some twelve. First crew to heist the skull wins. The other endures heist culture's greatest shame. They must join the winning crew. Lame. I accept. Snake arms. Double microwave. Monitor. Key catcher. The shape shiftress. Angie Flint. Star. And Chocula. Hey, half of Nightly's eight are just three of Sanchez's five. The crystal skull. That was it. Five. Same. Double unstoppable. Rick, welcome to Nightly's Nine. Oh, oh. oh. for real? Yeah, you got that skull, buddy? <laughs> you pushed it. Heist the Tron. State your prime directive. Two heist. Calculate Miles Nightly's current heist plan and add one double cross with a switcheroo. Oh, cross. so he got the people who look like without a cross. Damn it, Morty. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> he changed. I want to say goodbye. It's like you're available for the job. You son of a bitch. I'm in. Mean. Is he working on writing a heist script? Yeah, you almost never bring it up. Oh, we should, we should head over. We got ready. Before you put this in your backpack, Grandpa's gonna run to the bathroom. <laughs> what? <Ew>. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the whole car. So what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am programmed to always be looking for the next big score. You're programmed to do as I say. I am programmed to double cross. You're not programmed to double cross me. Double cross. Assembly is the worst. Oh, Mr. Poopy Buffalo. Good thing they already know the work of Maya Angelou. Morty, he still got it. You sons of bitches. What's the job? Elon Musk. Rick, Morty, why me? Did something happen to Elon Musk in your own reality? No, 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 he's fine, but this is a team operation. And That's really Elon can be a little bit His voice? Yeah. Gloria, let's talk over here. How serious is the situation? <laughs> Incredibly serious, and every minute counts. In that case, I'm sorry I made you move over here for no reason. Well, yeah, that was a little <laughs> weird. It's exactly that kind of shit that made us worry about regular Elon. Well, we're not here to check your water pressure. He's robbing a whole planet. On the planet, killing an extra total of Okay, it says 7,000 deaths, zero injuries. <laughs> Anyone is like fucking dying. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I'm losing track of what's going on. Just... Welcome to Heister 
Neutrons, but I'm immune to your nanobots. You're immune to the ones you designed, not mine. I programmed you to build nanobots that were ineffective on me. I believe that needed to be placed in your head by my nanobots. Leave that to <laughs> oh my god. Like, are you lost? You know, you yeah, but that, that's the point, though. Yeah, I think that's the point, yeah. That's how it is in high school. Yeah. yeah. I think that's why the, the creators make a fun of it. It's like, it's bullshit. It appears the only perfect heist is one that was never written. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> here, <Elon. laughs> He's the fuck out of here. <laughs> what time is it? It's almost three. What? What's wrong? You know that screenplay that I've been writing? Netflix is pretty interested, and I've actually got a pitch meeting there today at three thirty. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's amazing. So excited for you. Are you kidding me? Listen, don't waste any time explaining. Let's go. We can put the earth back later. All right? Are you sure? Priority forty. Let's get you to that Netflix meeting. That's a crazy Netflix. day, huh? Pulse guy turned out to be a big circuit board. Yeah, that's actually part of a, 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 a adventure I was having. Very <laughs> about this heist movie. Okay, so it's kind of all, all built around this big crew with like a cool double cross, and then this big awesome twist where there's like another double cross. But then, um, but, but then we reveal those things were all... Kid, if you're slowing down because you think you're doing bad right now, Jesus Christ, you're a really good pitch. Man, man, you know, I, I'm starting to think heists are just really <laughs> dumb now, you know? I can't put my finger on why, but I'd really like to go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm sure. Someone stole his enthusiasm for his own idea. Yeah, without him even knowing about it. Netflix? Even about it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was thinking, oh. From that stupid heist script. He's up in his room with his fucking thumb up his ass. Skipped up. I'm gonna fucking lose him. Fuck that. I'm, I'm gonna nip this shit in the butt. You know, as a matter of fact, you're not nipping anything in the butt. If Morty ever gives up on a single dream, it better be because of his own disillusionment. <laughs> hey, buddy, how'd it go? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. That's, thanks for staying positive about my prospects, Rick. Of course. You know, I gotta got help my grandson follow his dreams. Uh, who needs dreams? hang out with you and go on adventures and do whatever you want to do, you know, forever. Oh, well, uh, okay. That should show you that he doesn't That's want to be want. alone. He wants more and more. Yeah. He really does care. He's a, babe, he did all that shit. All those people who died on the whole fucking planet. <laughs> Just so he can stop him from making a Netflix movie. This is like, oh my Because he really does care for Morty. I guess that's true too, but you also look like he's also selfish. I mean, he won't let him. I'm not. Of course he's selfish. He's been selfish since the first season. He won't let him pursue uh, other goals. They never like. They're just like, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, this episode was actually at the bed. You know, I was kind of confused a lot. Like, I was lost, but I think you're right. It was kind of... That's just how heist movies are. Yeah, it's like, and I get confused sometimes, and then I have to go back and rewatch re something. It, yeah. Um, I think I, I think they mainly make fun of I think Ocean's Eleven. I think that's the only one. Or the There's Ocean's other ones, yeah. but Ocean's Eleven is probably yeah. the most famous. The most famous one, yeah. I mean, so like you could tell that they were. I like how they were starting off with like the heist con and everything. You thought it was gonna go one direction, like they're gonna do like an Ocean's Twelve sort of sort of thing, but he nipped it in the butt real fast. So <laughs> I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, this episode was alright. Like I said, I thought it was pretty cool, but I was mostly lost. I think that's why. Anyway, guys, um, if you guys want to get our full reaction, feel free to check out our Patreon. Links in the description down below. We'll see you guys next time.